There's the overgrowth. Here go the bats. Does Warden go with the bats? Does he transition over to help the bats? He does. He does. He's going to try to follow them. He's a little slow, but he should follow them. He's trying to win the match with swag points. Welcome back, ladies and gentle toast. The next matchup today, we got Navi versus Navi. Ooh, it's going to be a fun one. This is actually the Coco 2 versus 2 Invitational Tournament. And it is Stars and Kazuma facing off against P. Castro and Satans. And if you don't know who Satans is, he is one of the base builders for Na'Vi, one of their dedicated full-time base builders, playing with P. Castro. So this is going to be a fun match, straight up four Na'Vi players going at it. And P. Castro with the overgrowth spell in the core of the base. What in the world? Queen with two ice golems, with a healer puppet. Grand Warden has a rage gym, both new equipments on the champion. Giant Gauntlet King already cleared the left side of the base here. Queen, is she gonna go inside or are these Teslas gonna mess up her pathing? Tell me she goes inside. Yeah, she's gonna go inside, but the town hall is overgrowth. Never mind, she can get the town hall. Overgrowth expires. Okay. Queen deals with the Skellies, pop her ability for the town hall. We did pull that poison tower with the, the, the king and the phoenix. Queen gets the town hall, the expo. What's next? He being slow. He's got 18 rocket balloons, but he starts off with a battle balloon. Queen also pre-activates the rage tower. That could be really nice. E-drag to the eagle with no spells. Couple rocket balloons on the bottom side. What is homie cooking up? More rocket balloons on the right. Another rocket balloon on the top. Just to pull traps? Maybe? The eagle's gone. Royal champion to fight the lava hound. He's trying to be creative here. Do something fun. Golem, champion, poison spell, grand warden on ground mode with the rage gem. Okay. All right. Champion warden going in toward the scatter show. More rocket balloons on the top right. Quake and bats. Dude, I didn't even notice he had bat spells for the core of the base. They take out that multi with the freeze so quickly and there's no more splash, is there? There's no more splash except for one wizard tower. He Castro's bats. Oh, the poison. <gasps> That poison tower just one shot every single bat. <laughs> Rip. Uh, he might be in big trouble now. He's got no cleanup on the right, does he? Very little. 30 seconds to go. This might be a time fail. He's got the invis spell. He's got the haste file and the hog rider puppet. 24, 23, 22. This grand warden's about to get absolutely slapped. Make the king invisible. Lol. Go for time. He's got cleanup on the right. This is actually so close, though. Hold on. Hold on. 13, 12. We got through the king. 99%. Go, go. Tornado trap spinning them in circles. Why was she going for something else? Five, four, three seconds to spare. And he still manages to three star? Even though the bats got, like, wiped out? What? Azuma bringing us five healers and 11 Inferno baby dragons. With six bat spells. Oh boy. Seeking shield, hog, puppet combo, healing tome, frozen arrow, and giant gauntlet. Wall break on the outside for king to go directly in. Fight the enemy queen. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Drop the queen on the bottom side of the base. Sure. Sure. King clears the scatter shot compartment. Everything else in there. A couple balloons on the left. Trying to get the wizard tower, but Tesla's pop up. They're going to kill his balloons. Awkward. Queen with healers takes the air defense. Gonna walk toward the bottom. This wall breaker. Interesting. King was about to bust open the wall anyway. But maybe that's just so his next couple wall breakers will target the right walls. I don't know. Warden on ground mode with the queen. With a healing tome. That's a weird choice. I feel like if you're gonna use Warden with the queen, you want the rage gem. For real, for real. There's the poison spell. There's a poison tower slowing him down. No big deal. We just got to wait a minute. This one Inferno baby dragon. What in the overgrowth bat bomb trick from Kazuma? Oh boy. Oh boy. The entire core frozen in place. Invisible as well. And the bats are just going to move their way all the way around the top side of the base. Let's go. Queen Ward with another wall break. 
but everything in the middle is invisible to them right now. Are the bats getting... Ooh, the bats got wrecked by that wizard tower. Why did he not distract it? I don't know. Yikes. Yikes. There's a wall break. Overgrowth ran out. Stone slammer to the core. He still has to get a town hall, by the way. Sends one infernal baby dragon for the town hall. Uh, one free spell and he'll get... Ooh, the invis! Invisible baby dragon. Snipes the town hall. Woo! Stone Slammer dies kind of early. E Drag in there, ready to take out the core. Queen pops ability, Road Champion on the right side of the base. Dude, is this still gonna work? Even though the bats kind of died early. I feel like this E Drag's not getting much in the core. I don't think he got anything. That's awkward. Road Champion with the Spirit Fox, though, she honestly could just save the entire attack. This RC is cracked. He's got like four or five Inferno Baby Dragons working on the top side of the base. RC with the free double freeze. Skeleton Trap's going to be a little awkward here. Has the RC ability, though. Seeking Shield, Hog Rider Puppet. The Infernos are kind of low. Seeking Shield, boom, boom, boom. 99% and 100. It's going to work for Kazuma, a three star. Satan's is in with the next attack for Team Navi versus Team Navi. They're both using the same clan name. I'm confused. We got Warden, Walk. We got Super Giants. Ooh, he dropped the healers in range of an Archer Tower. Uh-oh. No Rage Gem on the Warden Walk. A little unfortunate. He's got nine Super Giants. Super Barb going to take out that Archer Tower to keep the healer alive. That's good news. Frosty on the Warden. Queen has the arrow, the Frozen Arrow. Not the Giant Arrow. Nobody wants that. Except for Carbon Finn and Synthi. Giant Gauntlet. Og Puppet with Seeking Shield. All right. Rage on the Grand Warden and the healers. Sure. Sure. We're just being patient. Gotta wait till that scatter shot's dead. Couple super barbs working on the top side of the base with one super giant. Archer on the right side. Pull the warden over to the left. Cool, cool, cool. And here we go. One E Titan. Bunch of super giants. Freeze upon the expo. Log launcher is in. King as well. Alright. How effective is this super giant smash going to be? Super barbs on the top side, trying to do as best they can to funnel. That should work. Log launcher was placed pretty low, but I think they're still gonna go inside where, where it's opening the walls. Yes. Invis tower gets pre-triggered. Golem and Royal Champion with Spirit Fox from the top side of the base. Pretty cool. All right, everybody going inside. This is nice now. When do we pop a warden ability? He's being super patient with it. Doesn't need it just yet. There he goes with it. Pops the Warren ability, has the Rage Bell, Royal Champion, killed the enemy queen. She took a lot of damage though, but she's alright. Spirit Fox still able to go invisible. We got the Town Hall. We're going to be able to get through the Inferno Tower. We got to fight the Lava Hound and the Pups with no Poison Spell. The Queen will get through the Pups eventually. Two to three business days. And then here we go with the Bats. Uh-oh. Not the connection issue. Uh-oh. This happened to us again yesterday. It better not be my Wi-Fi. Nope, we're back. We're back. False Alarm. Bat's going to take out the air defense. He's got an ice golem to distract the wizard tower. He's got two freezes left over. He's got another ice golem to distract the other wizard. <gasps> the red bombs! Eat the phoenix triggered the red bombs. But there's a second group of bats. They were all split up. Ice golem. Freeze. Then he drops his own freeze. A little overkill there. Another freeze on the air defense. All the defenses are dead. Ayo, Satans. With the super giant smash bat attack. Was it creative? You tell me. You tell me. It's a pretty simple plan, just using super giants instead of E Titans or Root Riders. But it works. It works. He's got three heroes still alive. Let's go. We'll get the last building, and just like that, Team P. Castro and Satans are two for two. Stars Nose is in with his first attack here today. He's got four healers, one Root Rider, two Valkyries, four Golems. Seven lightning spells. What in the world? Frozen arrow, giant gauntlet, rage gem. Still crossing my fingers, hoping one of these homies does something with the new fireball. That would be cool. Grand Warden on the right side of the base with the rage gem. Zap Quake in the core, take out the eagle, the ricochet cannon, the inferno tower, the rage tower. Sweet. Do we need to let Warden get all the way to the expo? Probably. Probably. Take out the air defense. Maybe go for the pet house next. Then the expo. 
Hopefully somebody uses the fireball today. That would be fun. That'd be a whole lot of fun. We got an apprentice warden in this combo as well. All right. Down goes the expo and let's get started. Let's get started. Queen Warden gonna walk up, fight the enemy king. We're probably gonna wall break them into this first compartment right away. <coughs> I would think so. Golem first, distract the Warden statue. King on the top side with a super barb to force the king into the top corner. All right, we can use the root rider to open the first wall. And we got a log launcher to get through the rest of the walls. What do we even need the wall breaker for? Oh, he was trying to use it for the king to have access to the scatter shot, but it targeted the wrong wall. He should have waited to the log launcher busted open a couple walls. That's awkward. He sent it just a little too early. Rip stars this wall breaker. We pop the warden ability. Here comes CC troops. Ice golems. King dips out to the outside. He's not going to get the scatter shot. But he is going to slap the royal champion over the wall because giant gauntlets kind of crack. We got the jumping spell. What did he have in his log launcher? Was it another golem? I'm not sure. Royal champion on the outside with another golem. Well, he, he had a lot of golems, didn't he? Champion pops ability early. Get that hog rider puppet out. Get the haste vial going so she quick with it. The snipes defense is so fast. Healer's still keeping the queen alive. The jump spell does give her access to the scatter shot that the king was supposed to get. More super barbs and golem on the outside of the base. The town hall's already dead from the Valks and the apprentice warden. Yo, what the? This is wreck. Where did the base go? He just cut through it like butter. Let's go. Plenty of time left over. Swags, two freezes, and just like that, we're all tied up. It is six to six. Navi has six stars, and Navi also has six stars. B Castro with his next attack. We got a zap. We got a quake on the left side of the base. What did he take out there? A rage tower, but what else? A multi archer tower? An inferno tower? I think so. Flame Flinger on the right. He's got four Inferno Dragons. He's got a Jump Spell. Six Baby Dragons. What in the world? Queen on the left side doing her thing. <gasps> P. Castro's got the Fireball at level 14. Ooh. Is he going to do something juicy with it? I sure hope so. Queen walking up from the top left side of the base. Now I'm excited, bro. A lot of balloons on the bottom side. Just picking apart a few defenses. Warden on air mode with the eternal tome and the fireball got to keep an eye on him i'm gonna stay zoomed out for this one those balloons made it all the way to the town hall the death damage of the balloons wakes up the town hall queen's still alive chilling unicorn keeping her up he's walking toward the top side we pop the queen ability she's got the healer puppet king's got the giant gauntlet royal champion with the normal stuff skeleton spell jump spell ice golem why is warden on air mode i don't know but it's kind of fun Send a couple of headhunters. Pop the king ability. Oh, warden getting blown by the sweeper. Fireball? The fireball just went on a ricochet cannon. Oh, dude, that was a complete waste. <laughs> what the? Invisible baby dragons to go for the town hall and then a freeze. Super minions out of the flame flinger. Royal champion on the right side with another skeleton spell to distract. The invisible baby dragon sniped the town hall. The grand warden. I wish he had the fireball right now for the monolith, but he still gets through the monolith anyways. He's got baby dragons for cleanup. What in the world? Extra balloons, a giant, barbarians. What the cap? It's still crushed. I feel like he just completely swagged the fireball and it's still crushed. <laughs> what? Kazuma bringing us 14 witches and an overgrowth spell. Oh boy. Frozen arrow. Giant gauntlet. Rage gem. Hog rider puppet and seeking shield. Okay. Alright. Queen on the top side of the base. One witch to help support. Let's go. He's got a stone slammer currently activated. King on the right side. Okay. The headhunter, King snipes the queen and then keeps walking to the right. That was easy peasy, lemon squeezy to take out the enemy queen. Warden on air mode with the rage gem to help support the queen. Now I'm guessing we only put him on air mode so that way we know for sure the healers won't switch to him. And we put the owl out in front to act as like a Coco loon for the warden. It's kind of working so far. Stone slammer to the scatter shot and a whole lot of witches from the right side. Not all of them. Not all of them, but like half of them. We pop the warden ability on the top side. Over what? What in the? 
calculate. Was he try? Oh, he was trying to hit the invis tower with the overgrowth, and he missed. Kazuma missed. I think he wanted the invis tower, but not the town hall, right? Oh, this is awkward. Town hall gonna go invisible. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Invis the queen on the top side. Can King still get the town hall? I think he will. Maybe. That monolith is about to wake up. He's gonna freeze. More witches on the bottom side of the base. This is awkward. Another rage on the queen, the warden, the healers. They're all still alive. Did he just swag a freeze? Or was that an ice goal? That might have been an ice goal that that witch killed. King got the town hall. We're gonna use the skeleton spell to try to distract. He's doing a million different things at once. These witches on the bottom side are gonna get wrecked by that scatter shot. Royal champion needs to go clear the core now. Oh, this is this is funny. It's probably still gonna work, dude, because these royal champions with the spirit fox are just cruising through middle sections of the base. Warden died, but the queen and healers are still up. Road champion has ability. He's got two freezes. I think he's still three stars after all that. After all of that. That's hilarious. There's another freeze on the scatter shot on the expo. Pops the RC ability. Seeking shield does some damage. Hog riders help out a little bit. One more freeze right there. A couple balloons and boom, boom, boom. Plenty of time for cleanup. Kazuma with the mass witches with the overgrowth trick that didn't even work at all. Basically swagged an overgrowth. And it's still a three star, bro. Nobody in this match can fail. This is insane. Boom. Beautiful three star. Satan's with the final attack for Team Na'Vi. But then we'll have the final attack from the other Team Na'Vi. LOL. Warden Walk with Rage Gym. We got a Super Valk. Ooh. We got a lot of Barch units. Zap Quake wakes up the Town Hall, takes the Monolith and an Expo. All right. All right. Now, if these last two attacks triple, we're actually going to go down to time as the tiebreaker. There's no bonus stars in the Coco Invitational. It's not like create a Master Series. Flame Flinger. Flinging right there. Can it, ooh, that's a lot of skellies. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's all right. He's chilling. He's big chilling. Where's Warden going? I don't know if that's what he wanted the Warden to do or not. Did he want Warden to, like, go get the scatter shot? I can't tell. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting overgrowth. Very interesting. Spicy, in fact. Healer's still in the Grand Warden for some reason. Ooh, nobody going inside this expo once the overgrowth expires and the Inferno Tower are going to cause him some trouble. I don't know if I like this plan. We've got eight normal wall breakers. Sends the Super Valk up there. Sends the normal wall breakers. Ice Golem Freeze. Warden Ability. Rage upon. Flame Flinger should be able to go to the Town Hall. Royal Champion deployed on the 12 o'clock side of the base. Queen, E-Titan, Warden, Apprentice Warden all going inside the core. Royal Champion doing her thing. King kind of coming back around. Another freeze right there in the middle section. Are we looking okay? I can't really tell. Ice Golem slows us down a little bit. We lost pretty much everything except the Queen, the Apprentice Warden, the King. How does the Grand Warden become the first hero to die here? What? What? Royal Champion has her ability with the Hog Puppet, with the Seeking Shield. Flame Flinger. Oh, dude, that's not going to get the Town Hall, is it? Ooh, Seeking Shield did a lot of damage to the Town Hall. That helps. We Rage. No, that was a Rage Tower. We Freeze. That's our last spell. Queen trying to beat through a wall. King trying to beat through a wall. We send extra Barch on the right side of the base. Barch, Rocket Balloons, finish off the Town Hall. Queen should get the scatter shot. Can the Barch clear the right side of the base? Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Queen, King, get the scatter shot. 33 seconds for the Barch to help out. The King, Queen going to walk into the Giga Poison, but the Queen's got the ability. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. King gets out in front. He's at full health. If he can distract the wizard tower, it's game over anyways. No matter what. That is a three star for Mr. Satan's. And Team Na'Vi finished four for four, which means the only way Team Na'Vi can win is also with a triple and to have faster time. Stars knows with all the pressure, the final attack of the match, and he brings out two overgrowth spells, 13 super minions, and starts with a Warden Walk with the Rage Gym. He's going with a fun attack, and he must triple for his team to win and move on to the next round of the Coco Invitational. Time is on his team's side, but he needs to, to secure that three-star. Headhunter, Warden with the Rage Gym, trying to snipe the enemy champion, and they will.
eight bat spells and two overgrowth. He's copying the fill-up strategy, I think. He should be able to overgrowth all three Inferno Towers with one overgrowth and then do it again with a second one. Maybe. There's the overgrowth. Here go the bats. Does Warden go with the bats? Does he transition over to help the bats? He does. He does. He's going to try to follow them. He's a little slow, but he should follow them. Go, 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 go. Part of me wishes he was on air mode to go even faster. He pops the Warden ability. All right. Ice Golem was a little late, but the Warden ability keeping those bats alive. Queen on the bottom side. Another Ice Golem. King over here on the left. The bats are just moving around. The overgrowth expired, but he doesn't have to drop the second one right away. The Eagle... The Eagle, though, it locked onto bats, so he drops the overgrowth. Does the Eagle kill them? It missed. It missed. What? Bats go in for the Builder Hut. They go in for the Monolith. They take it out. We skip the Town Hall. Well, that's awkward. Town Hall is going to kill a lot of bats. He's got no more freezes. He's got no more freezes. <laughs> Rip. Queen and Ice Golem going to fight the King. She'll get the Town Hall. King over here on the left fighting CC troops. We still got three bats trying to take out the Scattershot. But once the Inferno wakes up, it'll kill the rest of the bats. We got a Royal Champion. We got a Stone Slammer. He still has... 13 super minions. What in the world? We got that town hall. Royal champions in on the nine o'clock side of the base. We send one super minion from the right. Where do we send the stone slammer? Where to send the stone slammer? Maybe at the scatter shot? That might be the ideal spot. He's still waiting though. Yep. Stone slammer for the scatter shot. Queen beating on a wall and we got the ice golem out in front to help. Royal Champion has the Spirit Fox to continuously go invisible. We still got a bunch of super minions to deploy, my guys. We just got to clear this nasty core of the base. Queen goes invisible with the monolith, walks right past it. That's awkward. Out of the Stone Slammer comes some rocket balloons trying to do a little bit of damage. Royal Champion already used her ability. She's about to get wrecked, but she's on one HP. She's invisible. Super minions for the win. We spam him from the right side of the base. He's only got 22 seconds left on the clock. Super minions, hurry up. Long shot the Inferno Tower. He still has six more super minions that he's not even deploying. Is he trying to swag them? He's trying to win the match with swag points. 98, 99. Come on. Eight seconds on the clock. Seven, six. He doesn't even deploy his last group of super minions. He triples with four seconds to spare. It's 12 to 12, and the winner will be decided by average attacks. Who is it? 230 to 236. It's Team Navi. All right. So apparently time does not determine the winner. Stars and Picastro are about to do a 1v1 in friendly challenges to figure out who's the winner. I don't know. But they're doing it legend style, which means they're supposed to just post their base, go live with whatever their current army is. Picastro has Queen Charge Lalo cooked up. Stars has... Has Zap Lalo cooked up? I don't know who to watch, bro. We got to watch both somehow. Uh, P. Castro, what is he going to do? Queen charge from the left side. He brings healer puppet, giant gauntlet, normal stuff on the warden. Both new stuff on the champion. Skeleton spell is in. King's going to go right in toward the enemy queen with a headhunter. Hoggers. Does King go take out the monolith? That would be great value. Shout out Walmart. Great value, brand. King does take out the Monolith and the enemy Royal Champion and all the ground targeting CC troops. Dude, he's even going to get the Ricochet Cannon off the bounce. Dude, he snipes the Ricochet Cannon over the wall. Yes. Oh, that's great King value, bro. Just now dropping the healers on the Queen. Let's go check out the other one. We got to watch both somehow. Stars in from the top side of the base with a Flame Flinger. He zapped a Poison Tower, the other Inferno, and the Eagle. Okay. Did Pete Castro's King actually snipe the Eagle too? Stars is being slow with the setup. Let's go back over here for a second. He Castro's king actually sniped the eagle. Dude, that's insane. One more lava pup. Who cares? There's this awkward expo we skipped. It's also this awkward inferno tower that's very difficult for the queen to reach. Unless he gets some juicy wall breaks. Flame Flinger is still working on that top side of the base. Sends the royal champion and starts the Lalo from the bottom side of the base. I don't know. If they both triple, do we just do this again? I'm not sure. With different bases, it might be the case. We're going to have to ask Coco if they both triple. Let's focus on the attacks for now, though. Bro, champion going to clear the core. Queen with another wall break has access all the way to the town hall. Lalo on the bottom side. He can pop the ward ability whenever he wants to. This is looking great. I want to say it's a triple, but I'm not sure completely just yet. Yeah, he's got extra balloons in his pocket. 
pops the queen ability. His royal champion going into the Giga Bomb. She's gonna get wrecked. This is actually looking a little sketchy, but I think he'll be okay. More balloons on the outside. A couple freeze spells. Sends extra balloons from the bottom side of the base. Another freeze right there. It's getting a little sloppy all of a sudden. Actually, I don't know if this triples, dude. Yeti is out of the Flame Flinger. The healers went off the queen to go to the Spirit Fox. What in the stupid healer AI? This is a fail. This is actually a fail. The Warden's dead. <gasps> He's going to get like high 90s, bro. This is actually a fail. And stars? Stars? Is he over here doing stars things? Stars never fails? Maybe? He's got the Warden. He's got the Royal Champion at full health. This is a three star. Bro, P. Castro failed. And stars comes in clutch and triples. RC ability, 98%. Tornado Trap spinning in circles, doing the disco dance, celebrating the W as he gets the last couple of buildings just like that. We don't even need a round two. P. Castro, 93%. Stars with 100%. And boom, there it is. GG. Stars and Kanzuma are moving on to the next round. And let's quickly watch what Stars actually did. Because we missed most of it watching P. Castro's Queen Charge Lalo. I'm going to 4x until we get to the start of the Lalo. Flame Flinger on the top side. We saw the zaps. King on the right with the Queen. Gauntlet, Frozen Arrow, normal stuff, new stuff. King takes the scatter shot. Queen goes for the Town Hall with a freeze spell. Dude, he didn't even freeze. What a baller. Maybe he forgot to? I don't know. Pops a Queen ability. Maybe he just knew he didn't even need the freeze. She would still be able to get it, and it would actually be a waste of a spell to freeze. Maybe he knew. Here we go with the Lalo from the bottom side. Super Dragon on defense. We pop the Warden ability early to keep that initial group of balloons alive. Rage into the left side scatter shot. He's got the Royal Champion with the Warden and more Lalo from the left. It's so simple, but Stars always makes it look so clean. Another freeze in the core, and now we'll just two exit because you already know what happened. Boom. A haste. And that's it. Royal Champion and Warden clean everything up. GG. It's a triple for Stars. Knows he always gets it done. Stars and Kazuma moving on to the next round of the Coco Cup.